What's up, bitches? It's video time. This time, Let's see if you can make out what that is. I'll give you a hint. It's from the same people that make this. Yeah, cold steel. A cane. What's this? A blade? It's the sword cane. Yeah. 80 bucks. And not a whole lot of talk about this, which I find quite ironic because this is a pretty damn good item right here. It's got a very, very nice blade. Nice and shiny, razor sharp. It's got a double edged point, which makes it really good for stabbing. It goes through cardboard box like nothing even the really thick cardboard box and the blade thickness on it you can see that let's pull out the Spartan for comparison if you can make that out it's actually pretty thick it's like actual sword thickness but anyways just do a little video showing this off Phoenix. Okay, you know the uh, size of the Spartan. Pocket sword, sword cane. That is end to end. And there's a lot more to it, but uh, you know. I'm glad I got both. I don't want to do one of those either or situations. I'd rather have both. But anyways, yeah. I, I really like that this comes with a mirror polish on it. OCD. I'm going to keep it clean. What's funny, though, is uh, when you get it, and you first pull it out of the cane tube, it's got this really funky smell coming out of it, like a nail polish remover. It's actually surprisingly tall. I was expecting their uh, cane to actually come up a little short on me because I'm a fairly big guy. This works actually very well. Uh, standing perfectly straight up, I still get bent elbow room instead of having to pull it straight down. So, you know, that works very nicely. Uh, one thing I am not really liking about it, however, as if you can see those three tiny little dots are the pins that hold it in and it's nice that it's uh, visibly pinned in but uh, I guess my only real complaint and this isn't a real big issue just a you know a little gripe I guess you could say is that those pins are very very tiny I mean if you could just bump that up to the size of the pins in uh, you know the Spartan or something you know it'd be pretty much perfect uh, and uh, these double o-rings uh, I actually think that's a really nice feature that it uh, kinda locks in because that way it doesn't slide out by accident so you can do this and you won't have to worry about it sliding out. And uh, I really like that it doesn't have any uh, 
really ex uh, expressive features because you know it's just a simple black cane and uh, it doesn't have like all those gaudy features that uh, most other sword canes have that would just easily point out well, well that's just a sword cane this uh, I literally and this was yesterday uh, went down to Walmart and just walked around with this thing with a uh, with a limp no one said a single thing not even uh, looked in my general direction with uh, any form of interest towards this cane uh, so it hides very well and you get the power of a sword uh, which is really nice because you know aside from this you know and maybe the sword cane you can't really get a whole lot of opportunity to carry the power of uh, a very large blade without just screaming uh, you know potential threat or something so uh, you know a weapon hitting hiding in plain sight and really glad I got it it's really awesome handles nice and comfortable ironically uh, well actually understandably pretty heavy for a cane in and of itself but as a sword cane uh, I like the weight because that means you got lots of blade and you know I've been looking around for a, a sword cane for a while and I honestly have not found any other sword cane that has even half as much capability as this because uh, if you look at their video that they posted up this has some pretty good chopping power for such a slender lightweight blade and uh, you know of course that stabbing and that pistol grip you can lock into like they're talking about you can just shove that right through stuff and uh, excellent self-defense uh, really good for clearing an area and uh, also works as a great cane all by itself and also like he also said you know the shaft also works as a good emergency bludgeon so you can use that as dualies or pass the stick off to someone who doesn't have a weapon that uh, your allies with in an emergency situation and uh, all that good stuff but yeah I'll give you a small close-up of what the blade looks like oh there's my camera hey camera yeah mirror polish really nice get this nice flat spot you know, and you see how thick the blade is it's really thick so that's where all the weight comes from and you get that uh, full on grind and it is symmetrical perfectly symmetrical razor sharp very nice it comes back comes back and you get this uh, back grind which is very similar to the forward grind only just a little bit uh, steeper a little bit shallower uh, and maybe not as sharp but that's only because uh, inside this tube here is just solid aluminum and that's probably scraping against the back when you uh, resheathe it so uh, you know if you're messing with this a lot and you sheathe and unsheathe it a lot you know you're obviously going to be dulling down the blade but uh, that thickness rides all the way up to about here and then starts tapering down for a very strong point that's very nice and uh, there's not a whole lot of reviews on this except for the one by uh, weapons education and uh, it was really nice that he did a little watermelon cutting uh, but, you know just a nice little review about this and uh, feels pretty sturdy has a little bit of a rattle but uh, 
I guess that's only because of these tiny little pins. But luckily, instead of there just being one holding it in place, there's three. And uh, I don't know exactly how far the tang goes in, or even if it even curves to encompass inside the handle. But uh, it certainly feels nice and strong. I doubt I would be breaking it anytime soon. But uh, if I do, uh, wish me luck and hoping that I don't accidentally hurt anyone when that happens. But, you know, you can never predict the future. And I'm just rambling now. Fucking A, my videos just get really long. Me just sitting here talking about shit that has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on, like right now. And it eats up a shit ton of time. But I'm working up on my talking skills. Anyways, it's got this little lanyard hole right here. You know, if you want a lanyard on there. And yeah, like I said, the dull features, the uh, the rubber cap is uh, hard rubber. Very hard. Uh, but you know what? If After you get a couple of couple of hours and walking with this thing it'll start to fray on uh, the gritty sidewalk and it'll start getting grippier so you won't have to worry about that slipping on wet surfaces scenario on wet or slick surfaces but you know you should be able to replace that if you want to uh, I don't really have to right now because it works just fine as is and uh, yeah <laughs> really nice how it's uh, just simple bland features that blend in making it look like a simple medically prescribed cane if uh, that's the word that I'm looking for but yeah video on that I was kinda of hoping to make this video a bit shorter but you know got some good talking points uh, nice and round with a couple flat spots right here and uh, it's pretty comfortable in hand you know although not good for marathon walking because uh, that extra weight in the cane, you know, having that freaking blade in there, uh, it will wear on your hand and possibly your arm, you know, a little bit. But that's basically your own undoing by trying to go so far with the cane. But, you know, like I said, power of a sword, concealed, and, uh, you know... You don't got to really worry about it, you know?